to show you how to make some uh, southern sweet tea. Got a two quart pan. Don't fill it up with cold water. Almost to the top. We are about eh, right at an inch away from the top here. I'll turn this maybe on high. <coughs> All right, I want to put about um, about three fourths a cup of sugar. I didn't measure because I've uh, done that in the past to see how much I can get out of my little scoopers. This is the Lipton family size iced tea bags. We'll put six of them in there. My hands are clean, by the way. this come to a boil. Get my tea stain pitcher out. Always spray my cutting board and bleach after I wash them. Just in case. Now I'm going to add two quarts of cold water and my pitcher. Everybody's enjoying their summer or the kick off the summer or almost there. The weather's been getting really nice where I'm at. Upper 80s, high 90s. We went swimming last week and had a really good time. Now you don't want to push around on your tea bags too much because um, once they get saturated with water, they, they will um, can rip. Then you got little tiny bits of tea all in your tea. And, you can't strain that crap out. I usually just make sure that they look like they've uh, got there. Gently pushing them down. <clears throat> now you want to stay on top of this. I've got this on high because um, you don't want to boil over. What I like to do is make a pitcher of lemonade using um, Kool-Aid package 
and dump my tea in it. So you're eliminating the water part and just adding this straight into your uh, lemonade Kool-Aid. Uh, I like mine half and half, but my uh, daughter and son, they like uh, the version that's similar to uh, McDonald's sweet tea. And McDonald's did not uh, come out with sweet tea first. It's always been a southern thing. They just made it super popular everywhere. And sometimes I let this come to a complete boil and other times as soon as it starts bubbling I turn it off. It depends on how, what kind of mood I'm in that day. My daughter and son go through about a picture of this every day. Now if you got the large, uh, larger tea bags, you can just put three in there. You want your tea stronger. Keep adding an extra tea bag until um, you think you've got the right uh, uh, flavor going that you like. You want. Almost there. They say that whenever you take a uh, fresh hot tea that you've just made and pour it over the ice that's when it um the flavor burst really happen is during that first pour over ice while this is still hot i'll tell you one we tried not too long ago it wasn't too bad It was uh, iced herbal tea, strawberry watermelon. We made some iced tea, and that actually wasn't too bad. I'd never seen it. it says there's a new look, same taste. <laughs> never noticed it before. I remember growing up down in Georgia when my mom would make tea. Um, they would leave it set on the stove and let it get really dark after it boiled turn the heat off and just let it set i'd ruin it if i do that it'd end up being way too strong i don't like my tea cloudy either oh, or thick as molasses all right, you see the film? Getting ready to boil and I'm about ready to turn it off. I'll probably turn it off before it gets there. I'll give it about another minute. You're gonna use your spoon to keep the tea bags from falling down in there, and as you get all the juice out, start squeezing them, but not super hard. You don't want to break the bags. Like I said, these tea bits in your tea is not good. You wonder why you see spaghetti over here and making supper. All right, let's see if I got a clear glass. I'm not going to put this on ice, this is what you see, the color. And 
and I made a mess anyway. Here's our color. Still dark, but it's not cloudy. Let's see if I can turn the light on to see it better. In a blue cup, a uh, tinted cup, but it still gets the gist of it. Alrighty, that's how you make your sweet tea. Super easy. Thanks for watching, and I hope everybody has a good day. And Stay safe this summer.